Wow, they had some powerful lives going on last night. Uh, Rarely Live TV. Shout out to Rarely Live TV. Shout out to Empress Lonnie One Love. Speaking their truth. I didn't hear the whole video. I got to go run back the whole video. Because I've never been married, never been divorced. And I, I think I heard some other information going on in that video, but I have not heard the whole video. So I had to be fair. I have to be fair. Fair minded. And I'm not fair minded. I'm always one sided. <laughs> one sided. <laughs> I believe my YouTube creators that I'm subscribed to, I believe them. Yes, I listen to them. You know why? Because I don't know any, everything. I'm ignorant to certain things. But I do know when a marriage ends in divorce and the husband feels threatened that his life is going to end, they will take out the woman. They will take out the children. They will kill. I know that firsthand. What they do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My grandmother, she was married to my grandfather, Grandpa Smith, for over 30 years. She never wanted divorce. They had domestic violent thing going on. They had all kinds of stuff going on in that house. Because my grandmother was unprepared how to live as a full grown woman at that time. She was already promised to someone else. My grandmother's father arranged her marriage. She was arranged to be married not to a, a black man from America. She was arranged to be married to a Cape Verdean. That's where all this trouble came from because she disobeyed her father's voice. She went out there and got pregnant with my father. My father. And her mother came and said, go ahead and take these pills and get rid of that baby so you can be married to your real life. And my grandmother cried and she said, no, she was not going to do it. So my father ended up being born into the world. And he went through all kinds of different situations in his young life. And anytime his father left the house, my father took over as being the man of the house. My father worked. As a little boy, eight years old, working and giving your mother all the money to pay the rent, to pay this, pay that. My father learned early what to do. Yes, he did. Hmm. Because when my father died, my grandmother described him as being someone that she grew up with, even though that was her child. They grew up together. They got beat together. <laughs> oh. But there was one day 
My father was 14 years old. Mm. He went with his fa his father, Grandpa Smith, into North Carolina. They sat on the colored train seats. Back in that time, it was Jim Crow. It was segregation. When they got off the train, my father was carrying all the bags. Yes, he was. 14-year-old dude carrying all the bags. And my grandfather just kept bossing him around. A woman called out. Called my grandfather's first name, which was Lantrice. She said, Lantrice, that's you? And my grandfather said, where's my money, bitch? Because he automatically knew. When she said she didn't have the money, my grandfather went to stab him. When the woman fell on the platform, my father reached down and tried to help the woman. She gurgled and died in my father's arms. That's why I don't understand why my father became a, a, a abuser of women. That's why I don't know why he went into domestic violence. But he went there. I went there. My brother went there. We are domestic violent people. We will fight you in our home, in our house, in our life. We, we will fight you tooth and nail. But I'm still living. I'm living. My grandmother's living. All those women in my family got abused by men. They are all still living, except for a few. But when I met Sergeant Krista Reagan, and I met her mm, through my other family, which was an adoptive family, and she married one of my adopted brothers, he beat her. He mistreated her. He mistreated the children. She divorced him. She married someone else. That someone else was a clown, a troll, a payaso, a mentiroso. He killed her. Her daughter, Sierra, Laquan she killed my niece and my two nephews. Rashid was found in that apartment. He was stabbed over 27 times. What did a six-year-old child do? For you to stab him over 27 times. That's why I keep talking my truth on YouTube. I'm going to keep talking until I die. I'm going to hit the cash app. Support the pages I support. But I want them to reveal who they are. And they have revealed who they are. One by one have revealed who they are, what they are about. They are not harming anyone on YouTube. But Queen Regina and uh, Sister T want to attack these women. See, the, the black community is in a battle with each other. We battle. My YouTube subscribe, YouTube subscribers, 
Thank you for coming over here, listening, like, and share. My YouTube creators that I am subscribed to, I'm liking your videos, I'm sharing your videos, I'm supporting your page. You ain't got to do nothing but speak your truth. Speak truth to power. And my Maxine Waters voice, reclaim your time. Reclaim your time. Because I'm fighting a whole big battle in these streets, in my real life. Then I go, go on YouTube and, and, and see these men calling these women bitches and hoes and stinking fish and all that. I don't appreciate that. So you know what I do? I weaponize my own channel to go against all that. I'm weaponized. I was weaponized before I even met these women on YouTube. It's not their fault. It's my fault. Because of what happened in my life. That is why I'm fighting so hard. That is why I talk the shit I talk. It is what it is. Mm. 914 Westchester County, New York. We always on top. Never going to be on the bottom. New York is in the motherfucking house. New York is in the motherfucking house. Because when that dude that killed four of my family members, I had to go to Virginia, Newport News, Virginia, and vote for him to get the death penalty. I voted for him to die. Unfortunately for me, a jury saw something different. It's nothing different. I'm always going to hate that man. I'm always going to hate other men that do that to women, disrespect them, call them bitches, call them hoes, slap them, kick them, punch them. I'm always going to disrespect those men. The ones that do it physically, I disrespect them every day. A lot of people say, Ray, you gotta shut the fuck up. Shut up! Before you are dead and gone in the grave, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna die anyway. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about the domestic violence in our homes. Let's talk about child abuse. Let's talk about sexual abuse. Let's talk about rape. Let's talk about generational curses. This is a generational curse I've been fighting all my life. I should not even be fighting this war. But I'm fighting it. And I'm going to stay on the battlefield until I'm dead, until I'm gone. I'm a New Yorker, I'm a woman. I've been gay all my life. Switched off to sleeping with men. It's a shameful history. Shameful. Nothing to be proud of. But I do what I need to do. Peace out, New York love.